Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm here with our September 3rd new releases, which also is our birthday sale. Um, we are officially kicking that off today. So you can save 30% off the entire shop um, from now through September 8th, I believe, whatever date Sunday is. Um, so yeah, 30% off the entire shop. And then of course, would not be a sale without a ton of new releases like we always do. So we have six kits before you and not only do we have six kits but we have weekly kits but we have six decorative kits as well and then we have some foil um in terms of the sale it's third percent off the entire shop new releases and then we have some freebies for all orders um orders over fifty dollars orders over a hundred dollars and orders over two hundred dollars um so definitely check that out um so yeah as you can see here, tons of stuff to go through. Six kits is usually a lot, but added now we have decorative kits and we also have our weekly kit reformat officially debuting this week. Um, so yeah, lots of good stuff. Um, I really don't know where to start. I think I'm going to start with the um, our, our weekly kit so you can see the reformat and then I'm going to show you weekly kit and then decorative kit. And then we click it and then decorative kit and just go that way. Maybe I'll show the foil at the end. I don't know. The foil matches our orchard kit that I'm about to show you. That's my husband getting a call. Um, but the foil matches the orchard kit that I'm about to show you. Um, so maybe I'll just show you that after I'm done showing you orchard. So you can kind of just coordinate it that way. And then we'll show you the rest of the releases. But as you can see here, we have the decorative kit. And we have the weekly kit. So I'm going to do the weekly kit first, actually, since it is the updated format. I kind of have to have stickers hanging off the frame um, because we have so much that I have nowhere to put them. So let's just get started. So first off, um, we have our full boxes page, which honestly, nothing on this has changed. Um, not much to change in general, um, but our little headers at the top did change a little bit. Um, doesn't, I don't think that really affects you guys at all. But, um, yeah, so this is in rose gold foil. So full boxes page hasn't changed. I guess I'll talk about the kit itself. So we have some floral boxes here. This is kind of like an apple picking themed kit. Um, so you have this like apple farm sign with a little like seating area in like next to apple trees. This really cute outfit with a basket of apples. Here we have more like apple farm with a foiled apple tree with a ladder. We have apple orchard farm fresh like little sign of course we have a branch with some apples and then some like apples on the stand that you can purchase and then here we have this really cute kind of scene with like barrel and baskets and like this foiled apple basket and then of course the florals so here is the full boxes page Next is the boxes page, which I don't know if I had a kit next to me where I can show you the difference. Um, probably would have been a good idea to grab that. I'm just going to show you the most random kit ever. I don't know why I have this sitting off to the side, but you can see the reformat difference here. So. At first glance, it doesn't look any different, um, but then when you actually look at it, we have some differences here. Um, lots of requests have been fulfilled. So we have two lace boxes, and then we also have some sketch. So a lot, a lot of people have requested me to, we did like a foiled box like sketch sampler to make some of those, but have them colored in the kit. So um, you have two sketch circles here and two lace ones. And then we have two lace ovals and two sketched ovals. Um, as before, we had four lace. We have the lace box squares and then sketch squares. And we just don't have the like solid border squares anymore. Um, for these, we have sketched midi boxes and two lace midi boxes, two solid ones and two watercolor ones. So good mixture there. And then we replaced some of the um, these boxes with sketch ones as well. So you get three sketch boxes, three solid boxes, and three watercolor um, boxes. And six of them are third boxes and three of them are quarter boxes. So you can see that there. So 
um, exciting change. Not like too much to like kind of get you out of your comfort zone but I think it's a good change with like the sketch boxes it's like a little bit more of like a lighter and like daintier feel I don't know I just realized this video is probably going to be a million years long I'm sorry <laughs> um next we have what is usually called the functional page which I did have this labeled the functional page and when I was asking the PR team for feedback um I think it was Danny. She was like, there is absolutely nothing about this page that is functional. I'm like, you know, you're right. So now it's called the layering page because I feel like all of these elements are used for layering. I don't know. Um, I feel like, I think this page before the third page a long, 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 long time ago was called the layering page um, where we had like tiny circles and tiny hexagons and like little tiny like arrows and they had like confetti foil on them. If you're an OG, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And those were like used for layering back then. Um, but now I feel like these watercolor shapes, a lot of people like lay another box on top of them for like wash of color, especially if you're doing like a foiled box, like the strips are used for, the torn paper strip corners are used for layering. And stuff like that so let's just go ahead and talk about the changes on this page you're probably like where did my headers go which don't worry it's fine just wait um so these watercolor shapes didn't change and neither did these um torn paper corner things we have this is the same and this is the same but then we switched out and got some grid um corners here um, these were in the journaling kit before, but now you have them here, two of them here. Here are some like Polaroid, like mini Polaroid things. So we have a like um, portrait oriented one, like vertical, and then we have a horizontal one as well. And they are cut out so that you don't have like a white edge on it. But um, now that I think about it, you could totally use this as like a really mini <laughs> um box with like a solid-ish edge if you see that there that's assuming that um it cuts perfectly it does not always cut perfectly the bleed is there so that if it cuts off a little bit the uh, box is still like the color still goes to the edge but um you know if that works out those are extra little boxes i guess just notice that um deco is now on this page as well it used to be on the washi page and then we have like these little watercolor shapes a lot of people said that they really like these shapes um, I think they're really cute too. Um, they were on the journaling kit before, but we threw them on here. And then um, we have two of these boxes. Basically just asked to pull some more elements from our journaling kit from before into the main kit. So that was kind of the goal with this update. So now we have two of these boxes with some like foiled tape on them and then like a floral there, stuff like that. So anyway, um, I didn't even talk about the color scheme for this kit. So orchard kit. It's red and green with some pink and a like um, creamy peachy color so and then of course you have your clip art here that I was talking about before so that was that here is the washi page which this is like this plus full boxes is bread and butter of the kit I feel like so we have your washi which didn't change you have your lace strip which also didn't change um, your these are cut in half so these are the same like lace headers that you had before on well, I guess I should pull this over these are the same lace headers that were here but they're now here um but they are cut in ha half here so um you do get eight of them if you see that there of course your date covers are the same like shape wise but then the font has been updated um I know one individual in particular um will be that's more enthused with this one. Um, she knows who she is. I'm just teasing. But um, anyway, so then here we have our foiled line solid ones. And then we have the kind of like pattern one that kind of matches the um, the washi. And these are the thinner type of header. As you can see here, they're not like the full size ones from before. So that means what you lost was the foiled floral headers here. But I think it's fine. I know some people will miss them, but I think having the amount of headers that we had was like really excessive um, because we had the lace, the, the floral, the pattern one, and then we had these like thin line ones. 
And the thing that I heard people like be most excited about are these thin line ones and the lace. So definitely had to include those. And then I felt like this just made more sense as a third header than a floral one. Um, also the floral one, my dogs are upset. Um, the floral one I feel like was like kind of hit or miss. So I think just having a solid is better. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, this is the new washi page. I'm gonna go ahead and show you here so you can see the foil. I don't think I mentioned this, but this is foiled in rose gold foil. So you have your foiled apples here and then you have some like foiled leaves. And then of course your headers and then your date covers. So between this and your full boxes, like this is like the base and then you have your boxes and then you have all your little like layering decorative element things. So I don't know. I like the flow of this kit format a lot. Um, it just feels very intentional to me. I don't know. Not that the other one, I put so much thought process into the other one. Um, but yeah, there wasn't really much to change I feel like and I didn't want to go like too wild with any changes. So yeah, because I did go pretty wild with the decorative changes, but I felt like that was needed. Whereas for this, I feel like, um, like having the decorative sheets on the side also contributes to this because you can pick these up to complement it. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. Um, a lot of rambling, I'm aware. Um, so here is the foil add-on. Um, so we have apple washi, apple dividers, some apple deco, more apple deco, some signs, a tree, some baskets, some fences, and then just a little lone apple there. Here is the decorative add-on. Um, so really nothing has changed. Just the header again. There would, I mean, what am I going to change on this page? Not much, I would think. So um, one thing to note now though is that our add-ons do not come in transparent anymore just like the decorative kits how they don't come in transparent they only come in white and washy um, it's just easier to keep track of having two paper types than three paper types and like I said in my video last week if you didn't check it out I feel like washi does not function much differently than transparent stickers do um, and I let y'all know that if that's the, if that's not the case, let me know. Um, but no one's provided that feedback yet, so um, I think we're good to go for now. But here, as you can see here, here's the um, washi version of the add-on. Um, the colors do look like light when you have it like this because the backing is clear, which I did mention last week. But in case you missed it, but when you put it up against white, like just what it would be in your planner, um, this is more true to color like that. So here is the um, deco add-on, lots of apples, stuff like that. I feel kind of weird talking about that after I like explain so much otherwise, but it's okay. Here is the journal add-on, which did get an update as well. So here we have the same paper strips here, and we have these here as well. I'm not sure if we had this paper here before. Now I'm curious. Just did we? No. no we didn't um so this is from the um the previous functional page that I took off so there's that um here we have some stamps and a postcard the postcard is new we have some more little square shapes here and then some lots of like layered paper elements here um a lot of these were here before and then I think I added a couple I could be wrong here are the ovals. We have the same swatches before. Um, and then the two like tapes. Font was updated here. And then you have a little assortment of floral deco there. Um, just feel like that's kind of fun. So this is the journal add-on. And again, I have it here in washi. Don't know why I grabbed it in washi because I really only needed to explain it once, but I think it's fine. <laughs> The floral deco add-on did not change, except for the header part. Again, washi paper, don't know why. And then here is the alcohol swatches. Um, I did bring one here to show you. Um, so 
some of them got a little bit smaller and then we added a couple more in so you get a lot more alcohol swatches on a page than you did before and I'm really happy with that actually and if I'm not mistaken I think you get five of each color on here yeah you get five of each color so that's fun um but yeah so this is available in washi and white as well normally a lot of people would pick this up in transparent so i did bring this one in transparent to kind of show you what this looks like on paper um you would think that i would come prepare you would think that I would come prepared to a video like this, you know, with things that I need to show you, the things that I want to show you, but absolutely not. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let me go ahead and show you a washi on here. So this is a Orchard Washi um, alcohol ink swatch. So you can see there, this is it on paper, I think. It would have been nice if I grabbed the exact same shape, because we did keep some of the old shapes, but let's see. I think this is the same shape, but in transparent. So I actually like the way, let me zoom you in a little bit, or a lot of it. Let's see. The washi paper is a lot thinner, so I like the way that it blends into the page a lot better. I don't know if you can see here, but you can like barely see the outline of the washi here, and because it's thin, you can't, you don't really feel much of a bump. Whereas here, I can feel the clear outline of the transparent, and also I feel like you kind of have to like rub it in to get it to like blend into the paper whereas the washi I feel like just naturally blends um so yeah there is kind of your difference there if you were curious um so you can see here I don't know if this helped you at all but um yeah and then I feel like the paper itself is very neutral so it blends a lot better like it's not warm or cool toned whereas I feel like the transparent matte paper is a little bit more warm toned so when you lay it on top of paper I think it makes it a little bit more obvious so that is that I hope oh, wrong way I hope that helps can't believe I'm not even done with one dang kit right now um, so let's go ahead and move on but that is the reformat for um, our weekly kits. I hope that you guys like it. Let me know what you think about it down below. Um, yeah, um, really nervous about that now. That made me really anxious. Um, so let's go over the decorative kit. I'm going to show you this in washi, which I do have one of these kits in white and washi to show you the difference because I don't think I did last week, but of course I didn't do it for orchard, orchard, so... We'll have to wait a second, but here is the decorative kit. So you have your flowers. If you haven't seen our reformat of this yet, we launched it last week. Um, in a perfect world, it would have launched this week, but it's fine. Um, and then we have foil in our decorative kits now, which if you haven't been keeping up, aka if you didn't keep up last week, um, you'll see now. So we have the foil bouquets here. Here we have the elements. So we have lots of trees and apples and a sweater, this little barrel thing. Oop. Here are the edges, love these. Um, so we have like little words in here, it's like says made with love. We have like scrabble letters that say apple, lots of like plaid, like swatches throughout. A little ticket here, it says freshly picked and sweet. Love, love, love this. It's been really fun getting to be like creative on like the foiling and the layering and stuff on the edges page and this page as well. Um, so you can see here we have the kind of like scene here and we have this apple of my eyes with a apple branch here apple pie and there's like a little apple pie thing there with the foiled steam coming off of it. Here we have a crate of apples and it says apple and scrapple letters with a foiled bow on it. Outfit flat lay. Little hat here with um, a little ticket on it. We have a little scene up here with some florals and then this apple branch here. Love that. This is 
one of my, I can't, like, I literally can't wait to use this. I think I'm going to use it for September. I don't know. We'll see. It's my birthday this week. I don't really have a birthday kit, technically. Do I? I don't know. I might just use this for my birthday week. I think I'm supposed to pick apples with my sister and her son sometime soon, and I might use it then, but I kind of don't want to wait to use it. I kind of just want to use it right now. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> here is the paper strips page. Um, we have like some plaid in here. Also, my stomach is starting to grow. So if you hear that, no, you didn't. Um, here is the dates and dots page. That was really rude. Like actually really rude. Anyway, <laughs> um, here are the borders. So lots of those words throughout again. You have the scra same Scrabble letters again. We have these little edges here with the plaid throughout, lots of apples and hats and tickets and tree branches and all that good stuff. So there's that. Next we have the scenes. So lots of trees and barns, all that good stuff. Here are the box swatches, which I, meant, I explained last week, but in case you, didn't, you missed it, they are a couple of the boxes from the um, full boxes, but they're kind of like more abstract like this. So you can see here that you get a little sampling of it without having the full boxes page. And then last but not least, we have the swashes. So you have the washi length ones and then the mini length ones. If you want to see the reformat more in depth, then check out the oh, decorative kit reformat, then check out last week's video um, where I talk about everything a lot more in depth. Um, but yeah, that is the orchard decorative kit. Um, like I said, the foil matches that kit the best. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just do the foil now and get it out of the way. And then we'll move on to the other kits. And I might have to just like speed through them because I'm already pretty far into the video and I'm hungry. So let's see. <laughs> um, first off, we have apple branches. The foil is like apple farm themed. So that's why I say it matches perfectly. It's very good for fall in general. We have some fallen apples. Some baskets. We have empty baskets and baskets with apples in them. The journal scraps, but with apples. So apples here and there, all throughout. Perfect for layering. I should have grabbed this in rose gold for the kit, but it's fine. We have some apple stamps. And some steak signs. Should be called wooden steak signs, but it's fine. Some steak signs. We have some bigger ones and some smaller ones. And then we have our washi sized sheets. My stomach's being really rude. But we have that's so rude. We have apple trees with ladders. Four of them here. And then we have the apple journal scraps washi that matches those journal scraps that I just showed you. You guys really like the journal scraps, so definitely check those out if you haven't already. Um, one second, I'm gonna drink some water. Now's a good time to pick them up while they're 30% off. Um, so yeah, that was Orchard in the foil for the week. Let's go ahead and move on to Fantasy. Um, I don't want to speed too fast through this, but it might be necessary. So this kit is called Fantasy. It is in champagne gold foil. It's very like whimsical woodland feeling so we have lots of like crystals and mushrooms um the quote says fantasy is a necessary ingredient in living we like this bouquet of mushrooms which i think is so cute and a key this girl with her butterfly socks and lantern we have a foiled little snail there too how cute and then there's a fairy here as well more mushrooms like woodsy vibes I just realized the color palette on this is a little similar to the color palette in Orchard, unironically. Um, it's like a little more like green and muted, um, but it's still funny. 
because looking at this I wouldn't have thought that but it makes sense also. So as you can see here we have a dark green, a light green, a terracotta color, and then this like peachy color. Here is the layering page. For the deco you have the key, um, a mug, a book, lantern, a jar full of mushrooms, this like leaf eye thing, and then a moth. Here is the bottom washi. You have like this really pretty pixie dust sparkle on the thin strip. You also have pixie dust headers here. Some green lace and some of that terracotta color for the headers. Headers, date covers. Here is the add-on. This is really good for any sort of like magical whimsical kit. So we have some pixie dust washi and some like mushroom grass washi and some pixie dust dividers, pixie dust cluster deco, and some fairies, mushrooms, little mushroom clusters, and then mushrooms with a snail on it. Here we have the deco add-on. So we have two girls here, this little cottage, some of those like crystal things and rocks, and that mushroom bouquet. Here is the journal add-on. You get some of those scenes in the stamps and some florals throughout as well. Super fun. Here's the floral deco add-on. And the alcohol ink swatch add-on. I grabbed this in washi and white, don't know why. But there is that. Um, this is actually the kit that I grabbed. We're going to move on to the decorative decorative kit now. But this is the kit that I actually grabbed the white for to show you the difference between the two. And actually, it's kind of funny. I don't know if you can tell the difference here, but... Um, excuse me. Okay. Look how much... The, these are the same amount of sheets. Look how much thinner the washi paper is than the white paper. I think that's so funny. It really goes to show you just how thin the washi paper is. And part of it has to do with the backing. Um, the backing on this is a little on the thicker side, um, which I also like at the same time. I feel like the thicker makes it feel a little bit more like professional and luxurious, but then like the clear, the thin clear on this also makes it feel luxurious too. So I think it just depends. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> let me go ahead and show you both here, the white and the washi. If you could let me know which one you prefer to see in videos also, that'd be super helpful. Um, so we have the flowers. We have the bouquets. And they are gold foiled, as you can see. Both white and washi are foiled. The washi does look washed out when you don't have it on top of white. So here it is, the washi, and then here is the white. <laughs> um, yeah. Here we have the elements. The white paper really puts the washi paper to shame when you're showing it like this. <laughs> Maybe I should just show the white paper. Um, but yeah, it's a lot easier to see things here. Um, lots of the, here are the edges. So you have the florals with Mushrooms and pixie dust, some crystals, mushroom, other mushrooms, stuff like that. Here it is on the um, washi one. This one is cut off. Okay. Here are, is the layered page. So we have a scene here, that bouquet, a map here with a crystal on it. We have a deer in front of some rocks, this raccoon holding a mushroom. So cute. So a mushroom like scene and then like a little swashy thing here. Yeah, I feel like you can see it a lot better on white, but a lot of you on last week's release preferred washi, so I'm just going to show both for this so you can kind of see. In the future, I might just show it on white because it shows up better in video. Here are the paper strips. The days and dates. The borders, let me show you this on the white. 
Lots of sands, that sand, the little raccoons are cute. I promise I'm a professional. And then I totally realized that that was going to quit recording because I had the 30 minute mark. Jeez, I had the 30 minute mark. Um, borders. Then we have the scenes. Mm. Yeah. These aren't the correct scenes. That's for a different kit. Okay, she got a sneak peek. I wonder if I have the correct ones. I wonder if I just have them mixed up. That'd be really funny. Nope, just grabbed the wrong one. So, good thing I grabbed it in white. So, here are the scenes. Washi is missing in action, but it's fine. Um, I'm just going to put this over here since it's wrong. Um, here are the box swatches. And here, I'll pull the full boxes here so you can kind of see the assortment of like what was selected. Um, and the washi version as well. And then last but not least, we have the swashes. So yeah, that is the fantasy kit. I really just want to put these in order before I put them off to the side because I have a really bad habit of not doing that. I should honestly do it off of camera, but I think it's fine. I'm actually kind of upset that I grabbed the wrong sheet for me, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> next, halfway through, I think. Hello? There we go. Um, this kit is called Spice. Now I've been talking so much, I'm losing my voice, even though I'm not sick. Um, so here is the Spice. Very bright and colorful kit. Love this kit. Like, I love this kit and the orchard kit are my two favorites for this week. I love them all, but the those two have my heart. Maybe I'll use this one this week. And I'll save the orchard one for whenever I go apple picking. Um, anyway, spice. So we have a rocking chair here with a fireplace and a little foil sign that says fall. This really cute outfit flat lay. Foiled florals. Stack of pillows with a little bear on top. The quote says pumpkin spice and everything nice. It's really pretty house with some foiled fences in front. Florals, this little sitting room with a cat on the windowsill and a dog in the chair. And then we have a stack of sweaters with some boots and an umbrella in the back with a basket of pumpkins. Like I said, love the colors in this kit. So we have um, this like purpley color, an orange, a pink, and then a yellowish color. And champagne gold, like I mentioned. Um, here is your layering page. Um, you have your little boxes up there. For the deco, you have the stack of sweaters, a mushroom, watering can, teacup stack, jar of what I'm assuming is honey, some perfume, some boots, and then a basket of yarn. Here is the washi page. So you have your foiled florals, of course, and then some pumpkins in the washi. You have that purpley color as your lace. The orangey date covers, some pink headers, and some yellow headers with some dotted pumpkin foil. Here is the foil add-on. Super versatile fall add-on, I feel like. So we have pumpkin washi and dividers, lots of fences, assortment of pumpkins and leaves, a stack of pumpkins, and then a basket of pumpkins. Here is the deco add-on that scene there, pumpkin, the house, sweaters, two girls, and then the pillow stack. The journal add-on. The colors on this make me so happy. The floral deco add-on, which my only qualm with these florals is that almost every single dang floral in this clip art had a pumpkin in it. So this is very pumpkin spice in your face. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then here is the alcohol ink swatches, which again, don't know why I grabbed the washi, but you can see both here. Um, moving on to the decorative kit for this. So we have the, hmm, let me make sure I'm in frame. We have the flowers the bouquets, 
with the foil on them. We have the elements, the edges, up pumpkins, some foiled leaves, and like words, stamps, pine cone, etc. Here are the layered pieces. So we have a like front door scene here and a bedroom scene with some foiled leaves. Just lots of layered pieces. So we have this squirrel here with a mushroom and a like little bow on him. That same little stack of stuff with some foiled leaves and a pine cone, a little flat lay, not flat lay, but like what would be on top of the counter, I would assume. A little floral pumpkin moment and a sweater here, a sweater, scarf. Here is the paper strips page. Lots of like ombre in some of these, really pretty. The days and dates, that purpley color for the date dots. Here are the borders. We have that same little squirrel guy there. He's so cute. Lots of pumpkins. Um, lots of pumpkins up here as well. Some foiled words and um, leaves. Love this. Here are the scenes. The box swatches. So you can see here where it was pulled. Just gonna do this from now on. Where it was pulled from the full boxes. I can't get over how starkly different it looks when it's not on top of white. <laughs> um, anyway, and then we have the washi, the washi, the swashes. That is the spice kit. So I'm just gonna put her back in order. If you are still here, thank you. Not leaving me all alone. Um, let me make sure we got the ticket up yet. So here we have colors. This is like very classic, not in your face orange kind of fall kit. Um, we have like peachy colors and greens and some yellows. Lots of sunflowers are here. So this kit is called Colors and it's in champagne gold foil, as you can see. The quote says she's a sunflower, strong and bold and true to herself. Here you have a little kitchen scene with this foiled girl in the kitchen. This outfit here, totally something I would wear. Um, and then red umbrella. Except for me, I would not have the umbrella. Um, it's not that I'm anti-umbrella, it's just such an inconvenience to carry around, so I'd rather just like hold something over my head or like put on a hood or something. <laughs> um, anyway. Then we have some Polaroids here of just some girls doing some fall things. Um, the cool box, more sunflowers, this really pretty scene here. And then this um, dining table in front of like these open windows. Here we have the boxes page. So like I said, we have like a reddish color, like muted red, a tan color, a green, and then a yellow. So. Nothing really that's like exclusively orange. I guess this tan color is kind of orangey, but the layering page. So for this, I'll just talk about the deco. So we have umbrella, this little art here that says my favorite color is autumn. This envelope here, some shoes, um, this like clothesline, a clothespin, a um, sunflower and a leaf, and then a lantern. Here we have the bottom washi, so we have some foiled sunflowers here, and then like a washi and a thin strip. <clears throat> Excuse me, where is my voice going? And then we have the foiled sunflowers as well. Um, I really don't get why I'm losing my voice, <clears throat> because I'm not even sick. But it's fine. Um, again, lace, you have kind of like in between these sunflowers you have like little hearts on a line so that's what these headers are you have your date covers of course here is the add-on so we have the sunflower washi and divider we have some foiled polaroids here and some foiled like tape strips lots of sunflowers and then some sunflower stamps 
we have the deco add-on. The journal add-on. The floral deco add-on. So many sunflowers. And then the alcohol ink swatch add-on, which I'm not going to bother showing you the washi even though I grabbed it. And then we'll move on to the decorative kit. Just going to flip through this. So here are the flowers. We have the bouquets with the champagne gold foil on them. The elements. The edges, which have like some Polaroid frames behind some of them. Here are the layered the compositions. So we have those some scenes here that outfit this base, and then you have some individual Polaroids here from those full boxes. The paper strips. The days and dates. The borders. The scenes. The box swatches. Again, I'm going to pull the full boxes for you. And the swatches. So that was colors. We have two. Oops, we have two more kits left. If I can get my stuff together. This next kit is called Light. It is in rose gold foil. This one's a very scrapbooky, like dark bowl scrapbook type of kit. Um, lots of layering, so we just jump into it. So the quote says, "May you always be the one noticing light in the chaos of things." Like I said, it's in rose gold foil and it is very scrapbooky, layery. So we have the floral box there. We have this home scene with a foil tree in the front. Here we have a film strip layered with some paper and this girl here in a foiled stamp. We have a chair here in front of a fireplace with a foiled pumpkin and then foiled hanging lights. More scrapbooky here with a um, torn paper and some florals. And then we have a little scene here with some foiled pumpkins and like pillows and a book. We have a windmill here with some foiled branches little fence here with a foiled wheelbarrow with pumpkins in it and then more florals. Colors on this are definitely darker so you get like a brownish color and then this orangey color, this neutral and then this like um, like warm toned neutral, like soft color, peachy, apricot, 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 apricot. Let me know. Uh, here is the layering page. So you have some boots, leaves, a jar here, more leaves, a little watering can, a pie, some coffee, a pumpkin, and a sleep puppy. Oh. Here is the washi page. So you have like a foiled squiggle here and foiled squiggle headers as well. Foiled florals, your date covers. The darker color is the lace. I always try to make the darker color of the lace. Um, let me know what you prefer, but that's what I think makes the most sense. I'm not sure why. I think I because it's easier to see the contrast with like the little dots in them when it's um, the darker color. That's mostly why. We have some foiled stamps here, wheelbarrows, some vines, pumpkins, trees, and then those little squiggles in washi and divider form. We have the deco add-on. Love her outfit. And that's winner. I love that winner. I just want to live in all the fall kits. It's actually like a high of 80 something, like low 80s today. And I couldn't be happier. My birthday, I think last time I checked, it was supposed to rain, but then when I checked this morning, it's not supposed to. And it's only a high of 82. So that's like birthday weather for me. Um, I can't wait. Um, 
Here's your journaling page. Your floral deco add-on. And then the alcohol ink swatch add-on. Moving on to the decorative kit. So we have the flowers. I'm just going to lay them on the white um, table so you can see it a little bit better. The bouquets. Of course, got to show you the foil though. The elements. The edges. Let me show you the foil first. So pretty. See it better here. The layered. This really like makes the scrapbooky type of elements shine, I feel like. Here are the paper strips. The days and dates. The borders. The scenes. The box watches. That's if I even looked at it, if that was in frame or not, and not just guessing. And then we have these swashes. So that is the light kit. And last, but certainly not least, we have Thankful, which is meant to be a Thanksgiving kit. Or any sort of family gathering, I suppose. But given the Thankful name, Thanksgiving was the intention. Um, I'm actually missing a page of this, which I realized before I started filming. And I cannot find it, so... Um, You'll see in a second which one it is, um, but you can see it on the site. It's fine. So here we have our full boxes. Like I said, very Thanksgiving. So we have food scenes, a little front door area, lots of pumpkins, some cooking, um, this like front porch with a rocking chair, lots of florals. The quote says, be present in all things and thankful for all things. Good model to live by. We have the boxes page, which features a lot of like warm tones. So we have like reds and oranges, and then this cream color. Here is the layering page, and for your deco, you have some apples, lots of baked goods, and wine. Baked goods and wine, and of course a turkey. I feel like quintessential Thanksgiving. Baked goods, wine, turkey. Bread too. Um, here we have our washi, so we have that foiled like vine here and the foiled florals. Date colors as well and your headers. We have like a dotted pumpkin header for that pattern one. Here are the, is the, the sampler. We have that vine washi and divider. We have some like fall tickets and fall tags and some fall stamps. Lots of fun for layering. I don't know I just kind of like looking at this like does anyone really want a foiled turkey like does anyone really want like a foiled pumpkin pie on the same player I feel like this is a little bit more useful so I don't know could be wrong here we have the journal add-on oh this is where I meant to tell you I don't have the deco add-on um, for this so check it out on the website if you'd like um, but you can just it's like elements from this and elements from like this layering page so um yeah anyway here's the journal page and then we have the floral deco and the alcohol and swatch and i actually don't even have the washi one of this too so that's fun um and then last but certainly not least we have the thankful decorative kit so um just gonna zoom through this so we have the flowers the bouquets the elements. Bill's listening to TikTok on his phone, I suppose. Sorry if you can hear my edges. The layered. Paper strips. Days and dates. Here are the borders. Love how full and fun this is. This really just gives me like 
like I just think about like Thanksgiving and having everything like spread out on the table and just full of food and like just surrounded by people this like I feel like just like encapsulates that feeling and we have the scenes the box swatches again pulling for comparison for you and then last but not least those washes so that is everything that I have for you guys this week um if I add 30 from the last video and 20 from this video now it's gonna be a 50 minute long video I'm so sorry <laughs> that it's so long um I think the decorative kits really does add a lot of time to the filming I feel like and also just like explaining all the reformat things so yeah um so just to recap we have thankful and rose gold foil we have light also in rose gold foil we have colors in champagne gold just realized I have no kits in silver this week that's fine because I think last week both of the kits were silver no they weren't but the week before that I think both kits were silver I don't even know anymore I feel like I did release a lot of silver full kits recently though so I think it's okay spice in champagne gold One page got left behind. Oh, oh, oh no. We're pretending like that didn't happen. Okay, we have fantasy and champagne gold as well. Just a well. Really gotta start looking at everything properly. And then lastly, we have orchard. Rose gold foil. So yeah, let me know what you think about the oh, the orchard foil or apple farm foil, whatever, same thing. Um, let me know what you think about the reformats down below. Let me know what you think about this week's kits. Um, like I said, don't forget to shop our birthday sale. It is live now through September eighth. If it's not the eighth, I'm I'm pretty sure it's eighth. Um. Yeah, so definitely check that out. 30% off. The discount is automatic. The only thing that it is not valid on is the subscription, I believe. There might be some other exclusions, but they're like the usual type of exclusions. Like, I mean, obvious to me, but I don't know if they would be obvious to everyone, but very few exclusions. I feel like you can get planners too, but um, we do have our 2025 planners coming out in the next couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, it's the most busy time of year. We have birthday sale this week, and then we're going to be starting our advent pre-sale after the birthday sale and running that for like a month. And then we have like, uh, our planners going on sale after the advent pre-sale is over. So it's just like the busiest time of year in the planner world. And it's fine because it's fall and I love fall. Well, it's not fall yet, but it's almost fall. It's fine. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching all the way through this video if you did. If not, don't blame you. Um, so yeah, um, like I said before, let me know what you think about the reformat down below. Or you can message me or email me or whatever. It's up to you. Um, and yeah, don't forget to shop the sale. 30% off new kits, new foil. I mean, 30% off everything, but we have new kits and new foil. And then we have... Um, don't forget to check your like freebie thresholds so like if you're close to fifty dollars like you get the fifty dollar if you if you spend fifty dollars you get the fifty dollar freebie hundred dollars one hundred dollar freebie and two hundred dollars you get the two hundred dollar freebie and then if you are in the u.s and you spend a hundred dollars or more you get free shipping so just some things to think about in terms of like stacking and such so yeah definitely check out this sale if you would like and i will talk to you later bye